I was listening to that dilated peoples. It was hitting pretty hard. What was it Mass Transit or something like that? I think that was the name of the album. Can't remember exactly. Back again was the single. Ah, all right. Well, I hope this uh, video finds everyone well. Uh, another um, unboxing to uh, kind of present um, for approval. I don't know or enrichment maybe. Got the uh, Santa Cruz uh, spring reissues. I had no idea when they were going to drop. I remember putting myself down on the uh, website to be notified when they were going to come out. I don't. I didn't think they were coming out in February. I thought they were coming out in March, more closer to the actual uh, actual meteorological spring. But here we are, nonetheless, early February, which is kind of cool. Um, so it was kind of a surprise in a way to see them pop up. Um, and there's some interesting ones in this one, and I think uh, I'm excited to take a look at them. So, without further ado, let's dig in. Hopefully, it's cool. We'll see. <sighs> yep. Santa Cruz, California. Well boxed. Uh, I'm just going to let you know I did not get all four. Um, I skipped the uh slasher in blue reason being is because i just got that slasher in white um i also have that uh what is it the 3d one with the uh little monocle that you can look through um and i don't believe those slashers are selling all that well i've seen quite a few of them on sale at like old skull and other places for you know heavy discounts so I think that uh, the market is flooded with that particular uh, graphic. I mean, not the colorway, obviously, but I'm going to wait and see on that one. If it does uh, go on sale or, I don't know, maybe I get a bug or an itch to kind of get it just to complete the set, uh, I might do that. But as of right now, I just got uh, three of them. And uh, we'll take a look and see what goodies these actually are and how good they look. Gotta appreciate the extra packaging. What is this one? Oh, this is the what's this one called? I forget. R uh, RSC. I'm kind of stoked on this one. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is the RSC. It's numbered, um, so we can get a look. I didn't get number one. Unfortunately, I got number 584. I'll we'll have to run that through uh, our numerology counter to see if this thing is safe to take outside and skate. But uh, yeah, let's get a kind of a better look at it. Um, for being the first one out of the box, I do like this blue color. That powder blue is an exciting color. Very safe. Um, goes with just about everything. I don't think this is much of an exception to that. It definitely looks good. The classic dot. See, this one is uh, hand screened at NHS. Uh, let me see here. The dimensions on this one. Yeah, this is uh, 10.03 by 31.3. I uh, believe it has a 15 inch wheelbase. So it's an old school shape, short little nose on it. Um, I'll put all the links to the actual product description and, uh, well, the product itself that'll have the more complete details of the description and everything. So that should be exciting. But uh, yeah, first out of the box looks really good. I like this blue color. I can definitely see this. Uh, I don't know, what would you put on this? I don't think stage fours and the 109s are too small. Maybe some Bennett's on this would be pretty sick. Yeah, this would make a sick cruiser. Very mellow, concave. Give you a top or bottom. Really quickly. Hopefully the reflection isn't too bad. You can see that laser etching on the top. See the number hand done. This is 584 out of a batch of 800, which is a pretty big run for this board. But I think it, 
I mean, it's not available on their website anymore, so I'm pretty sure it sold relatively quickly. And this is, you know, true throwback right here. Original concave. Uh, it's not beveled on the edge, so it's got a flat edge. Um, so, yeah, looks pretty good. I like that blue. Very nice. Very low key. And I'll take better photos of it uh, after the video. Can dig it though. All right, so that's the first one out. Busted out the uh, couch here. Um, I don't know if it's working or not. It seems a little low. I feel like I'm shorter or something. But I don't know. All right, what is next? Uh, oh, look. I the best. Thank you, boys. I appreciate the propaganda. I can stick that on nothing. People who have their lives together know where to put stickers. I do not know where to put stickers. I struggle with it mightily. I have a whole box of stickers. I'm like, one day I'm going to figure out where to put these, but I'm probably never going to. That day will never come. Someday never comes, right? Creedence Clearwater Revival. Great song. Closer look at this Roscoff. This is the Target One. Um, pretty excited about this one. Full white dip. Uh, what do we call that? Kind of a pinkish red on the Target. More of that kind of cyan blue, cayenne blue on the arm. Yeah, I like this full white dip. Look at the Target there on the front. Really popping off right there. Really sick. Looks good. This is true to Roscoff shape. This is a 10, 35 by 30 by six, another 15 inch wheelbase right here. More laser etching on the top of it. That's pretty much become a standard. Um, I believe sometime this year too, one of the other reissues is gonna be the Target 3. So very cool, man, that they're running this series back. Yeah. I like the minimalist colors. What, three colors here? The white, black, the kind of the red. This thing looks really sick. This full white dip reminds me of that Kendall, except I believe the edges on it were still exposed. This is a full dip though. And it looks really good, really smooth. I don't know what direction I would go with this one, considering I just built that other one. But yeah, this one looks really good. I also have the other Roscoff one that's uh, the black stain with the uh, multicolored target. It's hanging on the wall downstairs. This one looks good, though. Really smooth, really clean looking. Very nice. Hopefully the reflection. So that's number two out of this box. Put him right there. Kind of standing up, kind of nice. Yeah. So I think the cat's out of the bag, and it's kind of a powerful cat. The fact that I didn't get the slasher, so you probably know what's coming next. Is there anything else in there? Oh, wow, I got two stickers this time. What's this one? Crux. I got a Crux Marby sticker. Love me some Marby. Man, I sure do. One can only imagine what the center of their chest smells like. I love... Uh, Um, yeah, Nottis. Let's get back to it. <laughs> this is the uh, one that has the reflective bottom on it. If you saw any of those, uh, what, the Stranger Things one, 
you know, that was pretty far out. I also have, uh, I, I, like when I was a kid, we used to get these all the time from uh, the Air and Space Museum. You'd go down, and that was one of the things I would always buy from on when we took field trips. I would always buy that re one of those reflective, like, posters that you could hang up. I'm pretty excited to see this one. Um, oh, wow. So, yeah, this is just a... This is almost like a sticker that's just placed onto the board. I thought, I don't know, I didn't really see any of the Stranger Things one. I thought it was like the entire bottom sheet. This one looks just like it's a cutout of the graphic. Let me uh, take this plastic off so we can get a better look at it. Uh, and this is the traditional Nottis Panther size. This is a 10.5 by 30.14. So. One of my favorite boards, actually. I have one, the uh, steel gray one with the gold flake wings on it uh, with ND 215s and rat bones on it. I don't really ride it anywhere but the uh, local pump track, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely like... Uh, just stuck onto the bottom sheet. So I thought it was, I don't know, maybe I'm incorrect uh, that it, uh, on the uh, Stranger Things one, there was, uh, um, it ran the entire bottom sheet. So maybe I'm wrong, but that looks dope either way. Oh yeah, that's far out. Colors change vertically. The uh, panther changes horizontally. It's fucking fresh, dude. And I like this black stain. This was the same like on the uh, gold. So let's take a closer look, sorry. Let me see here. I can stand up and get this thing to work for you. I'll try to take a better video of it. Working. But yeah, that's it. Hold on. You know what I just thought about? I'll be right back. I have. I'm probably going to spill something. I knew I was going to spill something, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it could be. Yeah, right here's one of the old, this is what I used to buy, or what I bought from the, uh, this is the Apollo moon landing. This is not fake. This is actually a real artifact from the Air and Space Museum for my field trips there as a child in the 80s when I went to Holland Meadows. The frame broke. I don't know what, but he's still intact, huh? I should glue that to the bottom of the skateboard. <laughs> but anyway, let's get back to business here. The Nottis Panther. That actually looks really cool. I'm super impressed by it. I like it a lot. Um, slightly disappointed that it's just a st stuck on to the board that way. But, you know, I thought it was going to be cover the total bottom sheet. But, no, nah, that's cool. And the fact that I could just get lost in this is <laughs> probably not a good thing. So what do you do with this, though? Do you put this together? Do you mount this? Put trucks and wheels on it? I mean, it looks that way. Yeah, maybe you do. I don't know. But the board looks really good. The finish on these are pretty good. There's some denges in them from shipping or whatever. but. That's not a big deal. Um, no, I'm not mad at that at all. So yeah, the Nottis looks really far out, man. I even like that panther on the top sheet too. That gold color is tight. Um, no, that's good. There's the Roscop. I'll stand up and get a better, give you a better look at that. Let me cut that plastic off of there. 
just to be on the safe side. Get a closer look at the finish on that. And again, that full white dip, it's kind of a matte white, which is really nice. These colors are also matte in here. They didn't put any kind of sticker on it to say matte finish, but it's pretty clear that it is. I don't know, is this gloss? This might have a little gloss to it. Let me pop this bad boy open as well. Hold on there, Mr. Coppice. Blade skills are off. I'm all distracted by that Marby sticker. Can't stop thinking about Marby. Not as one stop sliding. Yeah, this is a matte finish too. You can see pretty much that's actual Sharpie right there. I like this a lot, man. This is a rad shape. And this color, I don't know if it's going to come through the way that it, it's showing up here. This is like a pastel blue, and that matte finish on it looks really good. It doesn't look overdone. It doesn't look institutional. It looks really nice, really smooth. I'm stoked on that. I'll get some better pictures of them. Post them up for all to see. Hold on a second. Here. Let me get this stuff out of the way. I'll put these over here for a second. But yeah, that's it. Once again, didn't get the slasher. I don't know. It just didn't speak to me. After I looked at it for a while, I was like, man, I could have grabbed it, but I don't know. It just didn't feel all that great. And like I said, with having that complete that I just built, I wouldn't have anything to do with it but put it back into a box and let it sit for a while and break it out every once in a while to hang it on the wall or whatever. My rotating display of boards that I have as far as art, which is kind of strange because no one really stops at the house. You know, I guess it's just for me. It keeps me busy. Idle hands of the devil's dynamite, right? But yeah, I'd say this run, I'm pretty impressed with it. I think the, you know, I, these are definitely... Uh, Look to be finished better than the Thrasher Santa Cruz collaboration, uh, which I believe were the last ones that I got. Um, so I'm happy about that. I don't know if there was any heat or anything that was taken uh, by them for that. But uh, everybody that I talked to and everybody that got boards, um, even online and uh, IRL, told me that their, the quality of them wasn't as good as they were hoping for and what was previously uh, reissued or made. So I don't know, maybe there was just something off about it or whatever, but I don't care. Uh, I think I'm going to probably at some point uh, put those boards together and uh, skate them. So I'm definitely looking forward to, you know, murdering out that Winkowski, blacking it out. Um, the Salva, I don't know, the Oops is kind of, maybe I might keep it. I do like its finish a lot better. I like the gloss stain and everything. So maybe that one I might just keep the way that it is and, you know, hang it up every once in a while. Um, but yeah, these are really nice. I'm really stoked on all three of these. I don't know. Now that I, it's weird too. I'm thinking this now that I see this. I wonder if that slasher is this like matte softer pastel blue color man it's i don't know that makes me wait <laughs> you can't really tell uh on the website so i don't know maybe i'll run into it somewhere you know i got a couple of i'm gonna go out on the road in the spring go visit me madre and uh maybe i can stop at strange house and he'll have one that i can physically look at so i don't know i want to leave that possibility open and now that I'm seeing these, uh, especially this one and this one, I'm guessing that the slasher is in more of that matte finish. So, uh, yeah, I might have to go back for it. 
So I, I hate leaving someone behind. Um, but yeah, yeah, so that's it. Uh, you know, I hope this look uh, gives you an idea of uh, what these are. I'll try to get some better images of them and post them up. Um, my first impression is they all look really good. They all look finished very well. The paint uh, on both the uh, SC and the, um, or the, what is this, the RSC, um, and the Roscop looks really good. Uh, graphically, there's not much you can improve on what's already there, but, you know, the finish, the sanding, uh, the way everything's put together feels pretty good so far. And that doesn't matter much if you're going to take these boards out and skate them. Um, but from a collector standpoint, I give them a thumbs up a little bit better than the Santa Monica Airlines, uh, reissues that Madrid did for sure. Um, I don't know if anybody's checked out Madrid's website or full circle distributions website, the series two reissues of the Santa Monica Airlines are heavy. They have the longboard stigmata in that group. They have a red stain, a brown stain, and a black stain. Um, they've got several hookups there that look really, really good. So yeah, I advise you to check it out. I'll throw a link in the description to their website so you can see the Series 2 reissues with all of them. West Humpstead, there's a couple of boards in there. Um, yeah. I, it, it looks really good. And I'm surprised after the first one, the, the, the Waterman, the heart attack, the stigmata on the sun shape, I was a little bit disappointed, but they didn't fail, you know, to bring out some really, really heavy hitters in the second round. So, I mean, it's going to be tough waiting on my tax return, trying to save that money because I had to spend a bunch of money to repair my arm. But if they're making it really hard for me. I definitely want to get that stig that 36 inch stig model with the 19 and a half inch real base. That thing would be sick, especially next to the little brother of it uh, on the sun shape. That would be a dope combination right there. But uh, yeah, I'll link that uh, that full circles website in the uh, description, along with uh, more detailed descriptions and product uh, locations for these three. Um, uh, these are all definitely, these three for me are definitely well worth the ticket price. Uh, the admission is good. Uh, the show is good. Everything looks really good on them. So I'm happy um, with them. Um, I do have some regrets now seeing how nice this uh, flat paint turned out on the RSC and the Roscop. I'm guessing the slasher was probably the same way. So, and then that brighter blue probably would look dope but i think i've made the right choice uh and this is you know i don't know this is not one of a kind knowing what the stranger things ones that are out there um but this looks pretty cool yeah this is definitely pretty far out um so i'm pretty happy with it and it'll definitely work well as a display until i beat that other notice up so bad that i have to put this one together so dig it yeah so if you're into these sort of things i give it my it's got my backing you know definitely take the ride on these for sure and uh i don't think you'll be disappointed in any of them um what else is going on not a whole lot got to we've had a warm spell here western pa got to skate some uh last week kind of a sketchy situation <laughs> Took a uh, pretty good slam on my arm. She held up, so the titanium is definitely paying off. Got some nasty scratches on my knuckles, though, which was a real drag, especially in that flex point right there. Just constant pain, like little. But I don't know, I'm starting to kind of like it. It's weird. But I also messed up my toe. I don't know how I did that. Got home, the toe started to swell up. Um, black and blue. It actually, the bruising actually went from the big toe all the way over to the other two, uh, the middle and the, yeah. So I'm just, it's just been a bummer, man. I've been totally snake bit <laughs> in whatever I do. My luck has just been hard. Um, but that was the first time I was on in what? End of October, so I had November, December, January. So that was the first time I was on in three months. My timing was just a little bit off. So I should have just gone out and skated around a little bit. And I shouldn't have been, you know, thinking like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to bust right back and start roll transition right now. So 
I'm going to reconsider that probably tomorrow. Hopefully get to go out and uh, roll around a little bit and just try to get my legs back under me, man. I've just been super stiff lately. Just need to stretch it out and obviously gaining weight hasn't helped being 220 now. And this is, these pants are a 36. I don't even have to wear a belt. Maybe a fat athlete or just fat, not athletic. I don't know. All right. So yeah, this little false part of spring here. Um, early spring, early spring reissues, pretty excited about, uh, definitely stoked on all of them. Um, stoked on the next, uh, build that I got going here, that Prism Cruiser. That's going to be happening sometime, uh, by the end of the month. Um, still have those trucks that I haven't opened up yet too. Those, uh, 78s. I've got to get around to that. I wanted to make a little video about those, which I will. Um, it's, I don't think it's like super rushed but yeah those are the trucks i'll use on that stigmata or on the sun shape when i build it um so yeah i've got a couple of things cooking hope everybody out there is uh doing well i hope uh everybody that's on the eastern part of the united states is enjoying some of this warmer weather i heard it's been raining a lot on the west coast and uh it's been kind of a drag to be out there which is a bummer um but either way you know maybe there's some indoor spots you can grab a you know, a, uh, a, a bomb in a garage and, you know, just go make some turns or whatever, or hit an indoor place or, uh, you know, somehow, some way figure out, uh, some carving, some grinding, some slashing, all that fun stuff. But, uh, right on, uh, Santa Cruz spring reissues, uh, this couch really low to the ground. It's kind of chill. Mm. <sighs> So, uh, you from around here? Sorry about that. Okay. I'm going to turn off the camera now. So, I want to be alone with the Nodis, and I'm going to put the Marby sticker. I should edit that part out. All right. Peace. It's the